the challenge in uh, operations, anything that is continuous, is there's no ending. So there's no uh, bell at the end of the match. It's uh, there's winners and there's winners. Hmm. And so you know, so when there's achievements happening right now, they're very quiet because they I don't know why they but they. No, they're actually always quiet, which is a little scary. But the uh, but that's how they are. So you just get on with it. And uh, but right now there there's some achievements happening. You know, boom! Little these successes yeah. that take place. But there's no bell. There's no marker in the sand saying we did it. In operational management, it just kind of continues on. Yeah. Uh, so that professionalism is important for the confidence of the people that are actually paying for it. It's interesting actually because you, the, the captain of a boat, the crew, the uniforms, the, the, it all communicates a certain level of not rigor, not safety, well those things, but it's also a level of the respect. Well, you, I think all what you just said is true, but I, I, I might add uh, purpose. You, know, you, <laughs> you want the, if uh, if an electrician comes into your house with a pipe wrench and a hammer, you're going to say, this is not the right guy. Yeah. And, but, uh, so you want the electrician coming with a you know, multimeter and some electrical tools, and then you say, okay, this is the right guy. You want the plumber to come in with a pipe wrench and maybe a hammer and some tape. But the, so uh, the crew and the, their de decorum, you know, their outward appearance uh, and behavioral uh, aspect, uh, it's important because you, the it's, it's part of the joy of actually providing the service in the first mm. place is being the, the best at it. And from the people that are relying on uh, that crew, uh, they need to have confidence so they can enjoy themselves. You know, the, and the crew trusting other crew. Now, if you're, if you're on that 100 meter yacht that uh, you normally cruise on with your friends, and but for some reason they ran out of guest cabins they put you up in a crew cabin all the way up at the bow and uh, it's two o'clock in the morning or it's excuse me it's 11 o'clock in the evening and it's time for you to go to bed and the boat's steaming along at 20 knots uh, you go down into that bed and you're thinking now is the bridge crew paying attention right now are they really engaged in their watch keeping? Were they trained properly in the first place? And is there bridge resource management? Is all of that that's going on up there, is it being conducted in a professional way? So I know I won't be, we won't be striking something that we shouldn't strike, like the bottom, uh, while I'm sleeping in this bed. That's, it's, it's a, yeah. Right? So you need that, you know, so you know, if you, if a, if a house, someone in the hotel department who generally don't spend a lot of time in the, in the wheelhouse or in the bridge, but they're up there and they see the uh, the officer of the watch and the lookout, kind of talking about the football scores and really not paying attention to their scheme and looking at each other, having a great conversation about the football scores. And that and then later on that afternoon or evening, that hotel staff goes to, to their cabin. They wonder, well, that's what was happening at mm. 11 o'clock this morning. I wonder what's happening now at 11 o'clock. Well, nobody's there, yeah. So it's important.